first of all, talk to us about this beautiful car behind you. This is a car that I bought like a few months ago and it's one of the things that I do um, away from football every now and then to go for a ride. Yeah, I, I, I like the 911s in particular and, and this was a, a lovely example that I found and then I've driven sometimes back to Spain all the way from, from, from the UK. What was the first reaction from the lads when they saw this? <sighs> Just funny, I mean, they, they was always comment and they some, some people love it, some people don't, but um, normally it, it's more, uh, they like it more than they hate it. We love the fact that you're very much your own man and you kind of, you do things your own way. You were saying um, you've got a camper van at home as well, which you've, you've yeah. taken to Spain. Yeah, we got one camper van uh, three or four years ago when we wanted to go this summer for a ride. I've been only able to use it a couple of times, which I would have loved to do it more, but uh, yeah, it's not that easy. You want to go for a week or two weeks once, once you're out in the road. Um, but yeah, we, we do love going going and riding and, and seeing different places in our car, sleeping in the van. You're not the type that goes to Dubai or Vegas every year, are you? Just tell us about some of your holidays. I think these experiences uh, give me a little bit more and I enjoy them more. I went to uh, India and Nepal one time. Um, my next trip will be, uh, I like to go to Africa as well, whenever, whenever we can, whenever we're more allowed to travel. And you like your horse riding as well? I've started a couple of years ago, but I, I, I just had, did it because we, we went for a horse uh, ride as well and we slept in, <laughs> in tents and we went for a week uh, horse riding and then sleeping in, a, in a, like a forest and, and it was a lovely experience. And this summer has been the biggest change of your life, I guess. Just tell us about the new arrival. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. We, we did have a baby three months ago and it's been amazing, it's been lovely. We've been also lucky to enjoy him and, and to spend time with him during the summer, uh, which we were very lucky also to, to fit it in, into that uh, schedule. Uh, now we're learning to be, to be something new, to be parents, which is something that you probably, you think you're ready, but you're not. Classic cars, holidays, horse riding. There's a few other things as well. I know you're a very keen tennis player, is that right? Yeah, yeah, I love tennis. It's one of the things as well that um, playing football every day, sometimes you need something else, a new sport or uh, different challenges. And I didn't play a lot of tennis when I was younger, but I've been playing quite a lot the last few years. And I, I love table tennis. Uh, whenever we got a couple of days off or whenever the legs allow me to do it, uh, I love and go. I, I love going for, for a heat and, and playing some, some tennis. I've played against a few. I played against uh, Jack Stevens, I played against Stewie Armstrong. I think they, we, when I played Jack and Stewie was close, I could beat them, but they, they would probably uh, be the, the hardest ones to beat. And the gaffer, the gaffer is very good as well. I've heard about this. Is, he, is it true you let him win, didn't you? No, I didn't. I wanted to beat him, but he, he was too good. Uh, his surf was, was too powerful for me and I had to readjust a little bit. So. I'm, I'm, I'm practicing, so whenever there is a next time, I, sh I should be able to give him a harder game. He said some nice things about you over the years. He, he's described you as one of the most professional players he's ever come across in his whole football career. Where does that come from? With this manager, whenever he, at, at some point I wasn't playing, and I, I still didn't take it personal. I just tried to do what I thought was right, and probably he thinks that that was that was quite remarkable and he remembers that very well. And when I had the chance to play, I, I also tried to push myself to get better um, every single day. And that's, I, I, I sometimes like to see things from, from managers' views as well and, and what he would like to have from players or get from players. And, and, and getting that response and giving them what they need is it's, it's what the team needs as well. So that's, that's the right way, I would say, to do it. There's been a couple of occasions um, I think once with this manager, also with the previous manager, where you've actually sort of voluntarily played for the B team or the under 23s, which is a, quite an unusual thing for an established senior player to do. Is that the sort of thing you're talking about, where you're just doing everything you can to be ready? Definitely, yeah, it is different solutions. And yeah, I don't think it should be unusual when you're not playing to play for the B team or to play for someone else to get fitter. Uh, because in the end, the fitter you are, the more chances you have to play. So that's something that 
Um, I remember, yeah, when Matthews was here, I, I went to him and said, "Right, if, if I'm not going to play next game, is there any chance to play with the under 23s and, and then at least uh, I need games, I need uh, time there out there to, to feel my, my, my best. It's a very humble attitude though. You've called Lionel Messi a teammate in the past. You've got a Champions League winner's medal in your pocket. You, you don't have to behave that way, I guess. Why not? I mean, well, football has no memory, I and mean, it doesn't matter what you did the last year or, or, or you know, last five years. The, the, the football evolves, and and you need to get, keep getting better. Otherwise, you you stay behind. You've said about putting yourself in the manager's shoes. Is that something further down the line? Would you like to go into coaching and ultimately management? I've, I've been thinking about it uh, for a few years now. I would probably love to be around football, and yeah, I, I enjoy seeing how how uh, group together can, 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 get, can get such nice things and can fight for something, um, everyone aligned. Say in 20 years time, if you're a manager, you've got your parking spot at the front of the training ground. What would you like to park there? <laughs> it would be probably an electric car. <laughs> it would be probably an electric car. In 20 years time, uh, if, I can, if I can still have, or they allow me to drive a classic car because of the environment, um, I will have one, but also uh, we will need to drive something electric.